Hey, it's Medicosis Perfect Schnellus, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we'll talk about cardiac pharmacology. We have a mnemonic about management of hypertension during pregnancy. With that being said, now let's get started. This will be just the mnemonic if you want the full video, it's on my channel in a playlist called Cardiac Pharmacology. Before we talk about hypertension in pregnancy, you have to understand the difference between two types of hypertension in pregnancy. Number one is called chronic hypertension. And the other one is called gestational hypertension. Now, what is the difference? Gestational hypertension, the, the name has the end, it's called gestation. So it's related to gestation, pregnancy. This is a lady who was normal before pregnancy, and then during pregnancy, she developed hypertension, usually after the 20th week. This is when we call it gestational hypertension. However, chronic hypertension is just a patient. She already had hypertension before pregnancy, and then after, I mean, during pregnancy, she still have hypertension. That's why we call it chronic hypertension. That's a very simplistic way of explaining it. What are the antihypertensive drugs? We have sympathyolytics, direct vasodilators, calcium channel blockers, diuretics, and the RAS modulators, renin, androgens, and aldosterone system. Sympathyolytics are divided into centrally acting and peripherally acting. Centrally acting, we have clonidine, alpha, methyl, dopa, and reserpine. Peripherally acting, we have guanithidine, prazosin, terazosin, doxazosin, beta blockers such as olol and D1 agonists such as phenoldopan. And by the way, the alpha-1 antagonists, they will lower your blood pressure, but they will do something else to your urinary bladder. What? First, what was the function of sympathetic? Good old sympathetic used to constrict my sphincter. And constriction of sphincter has two main functions. Number one, which is the least important, is to actually inhibit you from urinating because you're running from the tiger. So it's trying to relax the bladder and constrict the sphincter so that you do not pass urine. This is the function that will be cited by most students, but it's not the most important one. The most important one is to prevent the return of ejaculate of the semen back to the urinary bladder. Oh. So a side effect of these drugs is that they will relax the sphincter and they can lead to retrograde ejaculation as a side effect. And now to the mnemonic drugs that are used to treat hypertension in pregnant women and this mnemonic is courtesy to a great student from New York called Ellie. Hypertensive moms love nifedipine, hydralazine, methyl dopa, labetalol, and nifedipine. So hydralazine is for severe hypertension during pregnancy, Alpha methyl dopa is for mild hypertension during pregnancy, whether it's chronic or gestational. Now, what are the drugs that are contraindicated in pregnancy? The renin, androgens, and aldosterone modulators, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, and aliskiron. By the way, aliskiron is I R E N. Sorry about that mistake. By the way, also these three drugs can lead to hyperkalemia. Hypertensive moms love nifedipine. Let's talk about moms. Methyl dopa, the M, how does it work? It's an agonist of alpha-2. Alpha-2 agonist. Alpha-2 is anti-sympathetic. It inhibits the release of norepinephrine. No norepinephrine, no hypertension. And we have talked about all of this and other stuff in my previous video on alpha methyl dopa. If you want the full 50 video series of cardiac pharmacology, it's available at medicosisperfectionalis.com and it has a discount until the end of the month. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. You can get my cardiac pharmacology course here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.